Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It's going to be vlog. I'm just going to be here. Oh, I'm going to put the bunny in there. I am out with my grandma today. I'm doing a couple errands with the kiddos there. I'm trying to find some things for my clients. Trying to find some things for our girl trip coming up. So I figured I'd just vlog the process even though I'm on a social media break at the moment. Deleted Instagram, deleted Facebook, and I'm not posting anything for an entire week on YouTube. Yeah, so I have a good amount of content to post for you guys next week. Okay, we're at Marshall's and I'm looking for a curtain rod and some matching PJs. Marshall's decor right now is so nice. Oh my gosh. Let's see what they got for pajamas. I was able to find our sizes and these. Look how cute these are. They have pockets. They're super warm. It has a hoodie. It's $20 for the set. Excuse me. It's $20 for the set. And we are really big on cheetah. I think this is perfect. <laughs> I unleashed the beast. We're back home and sorry this sounds like right. I have two major jobs that I have to do tomorrow and the next day. The state of the garage and my bag and everything is just a mess. Look. I needed to find something the other day so I dumped out my bag. I'm gonna just go through this. Melina's already sleeping and try to organize it as best as possible so that way I don't have to worry about this tomorrow when I'm packing up the car. In and out of love. Never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. I'm using a platano to hold you guys up. But it's been a few hours. I picked up that kid right there. Basically, just worked on a couple shelves my entire break when Melina was sleeping. And now I'm at my grandma's house. I just came straight after picking him up. Y'all know right now, I already explained why. Um, I'm just gonna make something for tonight. Super simple, just like some tabasa sausage with green beans. I'm just gonna be here, hanging out and figuring out what I can do until everybody starts showing up. Oh, oh! Good morning guys, it's the next day. It's Tuesday. So the kids were being crazy as per usual at my grandma's house. Um, what happened? So I'm doing a session for a client today. This specific project, I need the double rod bracket. The single rod brackets are not going to fit. Damn, this truck is about to freaking hit me. And where I got mine from was Walmart. So it was either drive all the way on the other side of town, drop Zeke off to drive all the way back to this side of town to go to Walmart, or to go to Walmart with both kids and go in and out as fast as possible. And because I don't wanna waste gas or time, I'm gonna attempt to go in there with both of them right now. So all I need is 10 minutes to go in and out and get this double Ooh. bracket. This is probably gonna be a week in the life vlog leading up to our girl's trip. So let's get today started. We're going fast, we're going fast. Fast, fast, fast. Very quiet in Walmart at nine o'clock in the morning. Come on, we gotta find it. I'm like speeding through these aisles. You look crazy, girl. Right here. Okay. They should be up here. They should be up here. I don't see them. Okay, up here. Oh gosh, don't tell me I don't have it. And we're done. Time to get them in the car. This girl took her, her socks off. Wow, I am horrible at vlogging today and yesterday. I went to my client's house. I was able to put up those shelves that I showed you guys in my last video, the Ikea one. I'll put a picture here of what they look like so far. We're not done just yet. I got a couple more things I gotta do, so that'll be in the next session. But came home, Melina's sleeping, and now it's time for me to lay down and watch more Grey's Anatomy. I think I'm on season eight, but I'm gonna lay here literally until I gotta go pick up Zeke. Hey, hey, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you more. 
I love you more. No. We are on our way to go pick up Zeke from school. Mommy. It was so hard to get off the couch, you guys. It was like perfectly dark, cold, just all the cozy vibes. And I had to get up again to come pick him up from school and I didn't want to pick him up. I'm like, oh, I wish there was somebody else and go pick him up. But there's not, it's okay. So I had to force myself to get in the car. I had like, exhausted i'm exhausted from earlier so i'm probably gonna make another javi coffee when i get home to like get me through the rest of the day because i don't really have anything left to do for the rest of the day other than to pack the car because i do have another client tomorrow which i'm gonna be finishing like it's the, our last session tomorrow hey guys it's a little later i'm back home from my client's house after I finished my client's room, I went back to my grandma's house and just stayed there until I had to go pick up Zeke and then it's 4 o'clock. We're back home finally after basically being out all day. So I am exhausted. I was at my client's for like 3 hours and I had a lot of work that I needed to do like getting on and off the ladder. So my arms hurt, my legs hurt. I need to start on laundry. So today was my last session of the week for my clients. So I already told all three of my clients I'm going on vacation this weekend. So I'm basically taking the weekend off. I'm gonna resume everything when I come back. Before I leave, I need to get the house ready. I need to get the kids ready. I need to leave everything as organized and straightforward as possible for my loving husband who is gonna be by himself with the kids for the first time ever for three whole days. <laughs> but first things first, I want to start the laundry. Basically all of Tommy's work clothes are dirty and they need to be washed. So I am going to put his clothes in first and then I'm gonna come back and then do the rest of ours. Say hi to the kids before I continue working. Y'all a mess. No. I need to get you out of your school clothes. Let's do this laundry. This is the pile of clean clothes that is starting to look like a pile of dirty clothes, but it's not. I need to get this basket and put the rest of the clothes in there. Great, so I'm picking out his outfit for tomorrow already. That's one last thing that I have to do in the morning. And on top of it all, we are running very low on diapers. I'm pretty sure we only have two diapers left. So I'm probably gonna have to go back out, unfortunately, to go get more diapers when Tommy comes home. I don't want to. I really just wanted to stay home today. Just trying to clear off the counters. This is too much stuff. Um, let me take out the last two diapers that we have. Um, my grandmother gave me tortillas and rice. Zeke is gonna eat some rice today. I stopped at Nugget Donuts on the way back home. I got us some glazed donuts. The kids split one and then I ate one. And then I got a coffee so that I, I can survive for the rest of the night. But my lips are so chapped. Oh gosh. Oh, I wanted to have a little unboxing with you guys. So I've been thinking I'm changing the kitchen up a little bit. And obviously, the previous owners renovated the kitchen. So quartz countertops, new cabinets, they tore down a wall that was here. They did all the big stuff. The only thing that I never liked about this kitchen is that it had silver and gray metals. So to me, it feels very cold. And then bring in the stark white wall that I decided to do right there, it just feels very cold in the space. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of little things to the kitchen to kind of just like give it that warm. First things first, I will be painting the board and batten. I'm gonna be painting it a very light beige for exactly what color, but I know I want it to be tan, but a very light tan. And then I'm gonna continue the board and batten on the other side of this wall and down the hallway. That's like a long term project, but I'm gonna start in the kitchen first. I'm gonna keep the gallery wall. Like that's all that this wall needs is a little bit of warmth. And then the next thing that I wanted to do was change the handles. I can't do much to the kitchen, but what I can do is change the handles. And I think I'm gonna jump on the mixed metals train. So there's another fellow DIYer and interior designer. Her name is Zari. She is amazing. Her work is so like, like, Pinterest picture perfect every single time. It's great. I love her work. I'll leave the link to her Instagram down below if you wanted to check out her page. But one thing that she does in her kitchen is she does the mixed metal. Oh, I looked at it. I was like, ooh, like I want to do it. I want to do it. But I was so scared because my kitchen appliances are also stainless steel. So I'm like, is it going to be too much? But I'm like, you know what? I can try it out. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'll just put the handles back on, you know? So 
for now. Hello, puppy. So I'm gonna be doing different types of handles. And if you see my kitchen, you know that my kitchen cabinets at the top go all the way to the ceiling. So these are very tall kitchen cabinets, but the handles are only four inches. So I've decided to not only switch the metals, but to also make them bigger. So let me see. See that? Sorry, the lighting in here is horrible. So instead of that, there'll be this. Do we like it? It's like this is what the kitchen needs to make it more warm. So I'm gonna be doing that to all of these that go all the way to the ceiling, including those. But then the ones that are like this, which I only have two of them up there and up there, I'm thinking of doing latches um, just to give it like a little different, you know, vibe. That's the game plan. I'm not gonna be doing that today. I probably will wait to do that until I come back from our vacation because it's a project in itself because I have to redo the holes, fill, color, you know, all that stuff. I'm so excited for these. I think I'm really, really gonna like these. So because I'm impatient, I put one on. I love it. I only have it like screwed into one hole, but that's the other hole that needs to be filled. And then I gotta do a new one up there. You see like the instant, like different kitchen. <laughs> okay, next up is the dishes. So wash everything now and then tomorrow we're ordering dinner so I don't gotta cook anything. Into my life, such a magic feeling. Not, not in here, lady. Go, 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 go. Over there. Oh my gosh, you pooped. Oh gosh. Goodbye. Okay, I think it's been enough time that Thomas Clothes is done with the washer. So now I'm gonna switch it over to the dryer. Start the next load. Oh, I love it when it's all clean like this, but they're still awake, so there's still a chance for them to mess it up because it's only 5.50, but the bathroom looks really good too. Look at it, so good. I decided to throw away the mat because I think it's just about time to throw it away, but super clean. So for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna be putting clothes in the washer and dryer and just doing as many loads as I can. And then hopefully, I don't know, maybe I'll put away the clothes tonight too if I'm feeling up to it. But tomorrow, I'm gonna tackle the kids room it's been a while so yeah i'll touch base with you guys tomorrow once i start cleaning their room just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again 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 strangers again 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 We're like strangers again 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 i just know things will never be the same Okay, so laundry has been put away. Now it's time to do their room. So I already started. Got rid of his bed. <laughs> it's sitting out there. Yep, it's sitting out there. Tommy has been complaining about his bed for forever. He wants to get the kids a full-size bed so that if we have to come in here and lay in bed with them, like we're not laying on the floor or on the nugget, we can actually lay on the mattress with them. And it was a safety hazard for Melina. Melina kept banging herself into all the corners of the airplane. So I was like, you know what? It is what it is. We've had it for a year. He's broken it already in half. I put it back together, painted it, and then he messed it up again with marker. And I'm like, you know what? It's over. So I think I'm gonna end up making them a floor, like one of those floor Montessori beds where the mattress is literally just on the floor. And then there's just a couple bars so that they don't fall off. That's it. Probably gonna make them that eventually. But for now, he's fine with just the mattress on the floor. He sleeps there. And then when he wakes up in the middle of the night, he goes into our bed anyways. That's what his new thing that he's been doing waking up and then crawling into bed with us. So it's fine. I'm gonna try to get up as much dirt as possible. And I'm gonna put Encanto on for this little girl so that she doesn't bug me. Strangers again. I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. So high, higher up than heaven, you said we'd reach the stars. Look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts. Even though this is definitely a lot, and that's absolutely disgusting, I was expecting more, to be honest. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. 
well it's been a few hours when i told you guys that i was checked out that after i finished what i said i was gonna do today which was basically just clean the kids room out and then i finished laundry i was like i'm good i did everything oi what is going on my mind is already on vacation mode as soon as i put Melina to sleep at 12 i lay down to go watch the kardashians because i haven't watched it in three weeks since i've been binge watching Grey's anatomy so i'm like oh i got three episodes to catch up on and i put on the very first episode and within five minutes i fell asleep and i fell asleep like on my back my mouth open like it was i rare like i have to be so tired to fall asleep like that normally i always fall asleep on my stomach so excuse me i fell asleep just like that and i woke up just like that to the sound of the alarm to ha that i had to come pick him up so three hours i'm knocked out for three hours that was great 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 Melena is always catching me trying to record them secretly but I just got done packing my stuff for the most part I am all done the only thing that I'm missing is I want to get one more set of matching PJs for us one for Saturday one for Sunday so we already have one so I'm gonna try to find one more but this time I'm gonna go to Walmart they're just gonna conclude my day so now I'm just gonna wait for Tommy to get home so that I can go run to Walmart really quick a Christmas tree a Christmas tree oh it's Oh wow you're cute. You're going to school now? I know, Lainey Banani. Look. Look up. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. Today we leave. I'm so excited. Just trying to get through today, basically. So I went to drop off Zika school. Afterwards, stopped at Dunkin' for a hot chocolate because it is cold this morning. And then I took Melina with me to Walmart. And then I wanted to find one more PJ set, like I had mentioned. So I couldn't find cute, a cute set, but I found this cute shirt. So we're just going to wear these and then with black leggings. Body wash for the kid. I grabbed more wipes so Tommy can't say that he ran out of wipes. Got Melina her new little water bottle because her other one is broken and she's loving it. And now I'm just going to finish packing my bag. I just have to pack, pack this stuff up and then... That's pretty much it. I'm all packed up. As soon as Tommy gets home today, we are leaving. Mm, she's tearing up that water in there. You like your new water bottle? She's a mess. Okay, you guys, it is much later now. I picked up Zeke. I have a massive headache. Of course. Of course I would have a massive headache when we're getting ready to leave on this side. My eye was twitching while we were driving. Like, I don't know if it's like the anxiety buildup, if I'm doing it to myself. I don't know. I don't know. But I have this massive headache. But I just got done writing everything out for Tommy. I put breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, dinner ideas, Melina's nap schedule, things to do if they won't leave you alone. First thing on that is give them their snack cup and put them in the room and put on Encanto or Toy Story. A map of how to get Zeke to school. Basically, everything he needs and I titled it surviving the weekend make sure I put him do not message me for the littlest things you got this but uh, we're gonna be heading out just in time because we're about to start snapping so I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope you enjoy spending the week with me I don't know how much I'm gonna record I think we're gonna be doing primarily TikToks um I think we're gonna end up creating our own TikTok account like my me and her together so stay tuned for that I will let you know what the TikTok name is the next time I get on here or if it's already up I will put it somewhere right here so you can go ahead and check it out but i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up as always i appreciate love and support you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys